In your Read Write Count Primary 3 bag, you'll find a copy of Octopus Shoctopus by Peter Bentley and Stephen Lenton. You'll see the octopus flying through the air and a little seagull looking a bit worried. Also in your bag, you'll find a copy of the Parent Guide, which has lots of handy tips and activities so that you can share the book together. We hope that you enjoy this reading of Octopus Shoctopus. So, Octopus Shoctopus by Peter Bentley and Stephen Lenton. Okay. Can you have a look at these beautiful end papers, yeah? Yeah. Gorgeous. Nice village. It is a nice village. Okay. One day we found an octopus to come to live on top of us. Our neighbour, Mrs. Antrobus, said, I don't like that octopus. An octopus looks all wrong. An octopus does not belong. No. She went and called the fire brigade. They couldn't shift, so it stayed. Uh -oh. First it sat there looking bored. It dozed a bit, dozed a bit, sometimes snored. But when our friends came round that day, we asked it, would you like to play? We started off by playing catch, and then we had a football match. Imagine that, all eight of us against a giant octopus. Good. Wow. Later on, we had more fun. We jumped its eight, uh, jumped its eight legs one by one. We g it gave us all a jolly ride. It also made a perfect slide. And soon it was quite plain to see how useful it could, how very useful it could be to have our friend on top of us, our special giant octopus. Oh no. Oh no. Go oh dear, yeah, they're all gonna go in the sea. On mornings that were bright and fine, it made a handy washing line. It dug the garden, built a shed, and helped to paint the whole fence red. My kite got tangled in our tree, our octopus just pulled it free. It rescued Gracie's teddy too. The time she flushed it down the loo, from that time out, time on, it smelled of poo. <laughs> Pooey teddy bear. It swept the leaves. It cleared the snow. It pushed the car to make it go. And people came from miles to see our octotastic Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. We all adored the octopus who'd come to live on top of us, and even Mrs. Antrobus grew fonder of her octopus, especially when it saved her hat and rescued Pumpkin Pie, her cat. Good name. It is a good name. Everybody said to us, we wish we had an octopus, except the village baker said, who said, I'd rather have a... Squid. A squid. One day we found no octopus was living right on top of us. Where had it gone? We all felt glum. We missed our mi massive eight-legged chum. Aww. But in the night we heard a bump. It woke us up and made us jump. Yikes, we said. What can it be? We quickly ran outside to see something quite spectacular, miraculous, tentacular. Our own gigantic octopus was living back on top of us, but that's not where the story ends. An oh. octopus had wrecked its friend. Yeah.